The first electromagnetic telegraph was invented by Baron Schilling from Russia. In 1835, he demonstrated his pointed telegraph at the Natural Scientist Convention in Bonn. Schilling's transmitting device consisted of a 16-button keyboard. The buttons were used for closing the current. A receiver device consisted of six galvanometers with magnetic pointers. The pointers were suspended on silk threads and attached to copper stands. Two color paper flags were fitted on the threads above the pointers. One side of the flag was painted white, the other was painted black. Both stations of Schilling's telegraph were connected by eight wires. Six of them were connected with galvanometers. One wire was used for the reverse current, the other was used for the calling apparatus, that is, an electric bell. When a key was pressed and the current supplied on the transmitting station, then a corresponding pointer on the receiving unit would deflect. Various positions of black and white flags on different disks produced conventional combinations. The combinations corresponded to alphabet letters and numerals. Later Schilling improved his device. In the new model, 36 various deflections of a single magnetic pointer corresponded to 36 conventional signals. William Cook, the English physicist, saw Schilling presenting his experiments. Later Cook managed to attract Charles Wheatstone, a famous English physicist, to work on the development of the telegraph. In 1837 Cook and Wheatstone patented their first telegraph. In the new device, a pointer, when deflected, would indicate a certain letter shown on the board. Words and utterances would be formed from these letters. Thus, Cook tried to establish telegraph communication in England. However, the galvanometer-like telegraphs received very limited application, as it was very difficult to use them. Telegraphers had to determine deflections of the pointers by sight, and very quickly too. Of course, this was quite tiring. Unfortunately, the telegraphs also couldn't register the transmitted messages on paper. Thus, the development of telegraph communication went the other way. But still, first telegraph lines solved the problem of transmitting electric signals at long distances.